Ever since this uh, Gaza conflict started uh, in October, uh, unfortunately, we've had a huge loss of tourism uh, into Jordan in particular, but also the whole region. Um, and unfortunately, they, uh, people view the region as a single homogeneous unit. Uh, so we've had a, an, a really a negative impact on, on inbound tourism into, into Jordan and into the region in general. Uh, we've tried to compensate uh, by um, looking for other types of traffic, uh, transiting traffic through Jordan, uh, and at the same time reducing our capacity. But obviously it's quite, it's quite traumatic uh, what's happened. And the fact also that it's continuing is, is really um, difficult. But I think globally-wise, um, uh, things seem to be okay for the industry this year. Uh, other challenges come into play, but uh, for us, really, this is the biggest uh, challenge that we have today. And we're hoping that, uh, obviously, this tragedy would stop. Um, and uh, for the benefit of, of, obviously, the people of Gaza and, and the people in the region, uh, but to also allow us to go back to business again. None of the crises in the regions have actually could have been forecasted, uh, whether it was COVID or whether it was the issues that, uh, you know, Daesh and the things that happened in the region prior to, to, to COVID, uh, or even uh, this particular conflict. Uh, we live in a region which is very difficult to, to predict, uh, but we're very used to it as well. We're very adaptable, we are very flexible, uh, uh, and uh, our plans change accordingly. The industry in general, though, uh, is very difficult because you have to plan new airplanes in advance. You know, we, we, uh, we're now ordering airplanes 10 years from now. So you're committing for things, heavy cost elements, way out into the future. Um, and obviously, as you know, the airline industry re relies on a lot of external factors, fuel prices, uh, overflying charges, uh, environmental taxation, things that are outside the, 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 the bounds of the airline industry. Yet, uh, revenue is, is obviously highly competitive and subject to what's happening. So it's not easy to try and balance these two factors, you know, the long range planning and long range cost and expenditure versus the fickle nature of our revenue stream. Um, and this is the trick that oh, people are always trying to balance. Our employees are our biggest assets. Um, they're in the region, so they know what's going on. And uh, we adapt. Half of our staff, well, actually all of our staff were working from home on half pay during COVID uh, because we weren't allowed to fly during COVID. Uh, and uh, our airplanes, half of them were obviously in, in, in preservation. But slowly, slowly we came out of COVID. We dusted off the airplanes. We resumed the operation and the passengers came back very quickly. We were very, I mean, we were one of the first airlines to actually recover after COVID in, in 2021 and 2022 our results improved considerably, you know. And 23 was the year where we would have made a profit uh, were it not for this, uh, for this issue.